Vision is not only the first Hindu TV station in Trinidad and Tobago, but Sanke TV also has the most coverage. You can find Sanke Television on YouTube by searching for Sanke Television. On the Sanke Television's YouTube channel, you can find all previously recorded Yagnas and all Sanke TV exclusive programming. Don't forget to click subscribe so you can be notified of all new uploads. Sanke Television aims at providing you with your number one choice for cultural, inspirational and spiritual programming. ...in doing what you are doing. Many are called, few are chosen. Shalini, you have been chosen. It's not what we want to know and what we want to know is what Ma Devi wants. That is what has happened. So, thank you very much. Devi Ma's blessings to you and your team putting everything together. To our partners who are here this evening, Pandit Vishesh Vyas, Pandit Videsh, Pandit Raj, Pandit Ishwar Maharaj and our dear Devi Ambika, it's a great pleasure to have you coming to give us your blessings. And to all of you, my dear friends, our singers and musicians on the stage, Shubha Swagatam. This evening is surely a wonderful evening for many reasons. So let me say to Radiant TV Jaguti doing the recordings, which will be aired tomorrow. And of course, tomorrow night and Saturday night, we're going to be live to our team from Okay, I'll tell you in a little while. To our friends doing the recordings this evening from Sankhya TV, I want to say many thanks. This is, you're going to view this on YouTube, and of course, you also going to view us on our Facebook page, on the Daily Vyas Facebook page. So, to all of you, Bhagwan's choices, blessings. Very special welcome to all shoot, doing all the pictures for us, and of course, giving us your blessings. So this evening, friends, as we begin the first evening in a series of three evenings, it's all about Kali. Who is this Kali? Where did she come from? What is the blessings of Mahakali? Why are we afraid of Mahakali Devi? Why does she assume that dreadful form? Many more answers will be given, but first, let's all meditate on the beautiful form of Mahakali Devi. At the position of prayer, let's all join together. Maha Kali Mata Ki Jai. Shri Ganesha Namaha Shri Saraswati Namaha Shri Guru Charana Kamane Namo Namaha Om Namaha Shiva Chabudaye Vichye Ajam Nirvikalpam Nirakaram Ekam Niranandam Anandam Advaita Puranam Yadev 
सर्वभूतेशु शक्ति रूपे संस्थिता नमस्ते 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 नमो नमः पवनतने संकट हरम मंगलमूरतिरु रावणकने सीता सहित हृदय बसहु सुदबु गौरी शंभो गिरा गुरु गोविंद गण पति व्यास आशा करत देवी कथा प्रसन्न जासुदेव मति मति विषय And where did she come from? First of all, we understand where did Kali Devi come from? Where did she come from? When Shumba and Nishumba and the powerful demons, they were terrorizing the devotees of God. She Durga Devi, when she saw the injustice to the holy men, she got very angry. And in that state of anger, you see, Durga Devi is Shanta Rupa, peaceful goddess. But she became so angry. And from her brow itself, there came the beautiful goddess, the dark goddess who is Kali Devi. So Mahakali came from the brow of Durga Devi. She was born out of the anger of Sri Durga Devi. And she came with a sword in her hand. And she started to destroy injustice in the forms of these demons. So Kali has come for a purpose. After destroying all the demons, Kali went to Durga Devi and said, Mother, the cause for which you have created me has been accomplished. And you know what Durga Devi said? Hereafter thou shalt be worshipped as Chamundeshwari. Durga Devi sanctioned the worship of Chamundeshwari, who is none other than Kali. Because she got the name when she, you see, when you look at Kali Devi, 
You see, two seven heads in her hand. Don't get angry. I'm sorry, don't get frightened. Those are the egos. Each one of us, we have, you know, the ego within. And with the sword, you see that sword, that karak in her hand is the sword of knowledge that destroys the ego from within each one of us. So one of the head is that of Chand, the next one is Mund. So from that episode, she got the name Chamundeshwari, and she is worshipped. And whoever worships her shall receive peace, prosperity, and progeny. So she is home, she is none other than Sri Mahakali Devi. And when we look at the glorious form of Kali Devi, you know, one of the greatest places of pilgrimage when it comes to Mahakali Devi is Dakshineshwar. Dakshineshwar is in Calcutta, and you know, when you go to Calcutta, right, today it is renamed Kolkata. But originally it was called Calcutta. And so, that is one of the greatest seats of pilgrimage of the Divine Goddess, and millions of people. Millions of people go there to get the direction of my Kali. And if you look here on my right, you have Kali, and you have Kali here also. Two important aspects of Mahakali Devi. So Kali then is home. She is called Dakshineshwar Kali in Dakshineshwar. You see, this book that I have here, Kali, this is all about Kali. This is the goddess Kali. Everything that we need, not everything, sorry. Kali is time, we cannot contain time. So, the black goddess of Dakshineshwar. How come this place became one of the most interesting places of worship? People from every strata in the society, the lawyers, the doctors, you name them. They come to Dakshineshwar to get just to see. And when you look at the picture, this is the picture of the Dakshineshwar Kali. This is the Kali. You see, this is the Kali that is in Dakshineshwar. On the table there, we have a nice, beautiful form of Kali that came from Dakshineshwar. So, how did she come? You know, everything starts with a dream. It was the dream of this young lady to have this done. This is her dream to install Mahakali Devi. And so it all started with a dream. There was once, you know, a beautiful young lady. She was very young, but she was very beautiful, and she was very poor. And so this young lady, she went to bathe in the Ganga. This is the lady we are talking about. See, this lady, she was a girl when this picture was taken. What was her name? Rani Rasmani. Very young, very poor, but exceptionally beautiful. She went to the Ganga to bathe one day when a very rich man, he was passing by. He saw this poor girl. The husband died after marriage. And Rani Rasmani, she inherited a fortune. She inherited a fortune. You know, you hear about from rags to riches. From rags, she became the richest person in Calcutta. So I want to tell you girls one thing. If you want to become rich, look for a rich man and get married to him. I don't know if it will work out, right? But it did work out for Rani. Listen to Mahakali Devi. So Rani, she inherited this great fortune. Now, what is she going to do with all of this fortune? What is she going to do? She made a decision. And what was the decision? She wanted to go on a pilgrimage. So let's sing as we join Rani Rasmani. Jai Shri Ram. Oh, Jai Ambe Dudhi Jai Dambe Kalima Jai 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 Dhamma Jai Shiro Valima Oh, Ma Devi Ma Shakti Ma Jai Jai Jagadamba, Jai Shiro Vaima, O 
को ढूंढा गलियों में तुझको ढूंढा फूलों में तुझको ढूंढा गलियों में तुझको ढूंढा तू कहीं नजर आई तू कहीं नजर आई सबकी डिग्री सुनाए राजा हुआ फकीरा सबकी सुने मैया राजा हुआ फकीरा बाबा किए तमन्ना बाबा किए तमन्ना मेरे ही सुनता बाबा किए तमन्ना मेरा सुनता ओ माँ पहाड़ सुन ले मेरा तरा सुन ले मेरा तरा ओ माँ पहाड़ वाली ओ माँ पहाड़ वाली सुन ले मेरा तरा ओ माँ पहाड़ वाली सुन ले मेरा तरा सुन ले मेरा तरा सुन ले मेरा तरा सुन ले मेरा तरा मेरा तरा ओ माँ पहाड़ वाली ओ माँ पहाड़ वाली सुन ले मेरा तरा ओ माँ पहाड़ वाली सुन ले मेरा तरा ओ माँ पहाड़ वाली सुन ले मेरा तरा मेरी मैया मुझे तेरा सहारा मिल गया होता मेरी मैया मुझे तेरा सहारा मिल गया होता मुझे बचार
गया होगा मुझे मत भार मेरैया मुझे मज भार मेरैया किनारा मिल गया होगा मेरैया मुझे तेरा सहारा मिल गया होगा महाशक्ति देव के जय उमापति महादेव के जय पंप धनमान के जय महाशक्ति महाकाली माता के जय भक्त जनो पूज के अंत में आरती की जाती है पूजन में जो तुति जाती है आरती से उसकी पूर्ति होती है पूजन इज एन एक्सप्रेशन ऑफ ऑफ फेथ और लव और डिवोशन आरती इज द वेविंग ऑफ द सीक्रेट लाइन आरती करने सुनने और देखने से When you listen to RT, you take part in RT, you observe RT, Samana Punya, great merits come. So let us all please stand as we join together in Sri Mahakali Mata RT. Mahakali Mata Ki Jai. Jag Janani Jai Sindhu Kumar दीन नगे तुम हो हित कारी बेनवर नित्य तुम्हें महारे कृपा करो जग जननी भवानी जय अम्बे काली मैया काली कपाली नमो नमो माता वृंदावनी जय काली माता ओ जय जय मेरी मा जय जय मा देवी मा ओ जय जय मा देवी मा जय जय मा ओ शक्ति मा जय जय मा देवी मा Shakti Ma, Kali Ma. Ha 
महाशक्ति काली माता की जय दुर्गा माता की जय उमापति महादेव की जय पवन पुत्र हनुमान की जय असम जी पिस्टिक सर्व मंगल मंगल शिवे सर्वात साधिके शरण्य त्रयंबके गौरी नारायणे नमोस्तुते प्रेमस बोलो महाशक्ति महागौरी माता के जय सुमाइंदे दिपोतीस 
let me at this time extend to you Shiva Swagatam, a most cordial welcome to the second evening of Devi Mahakali Puja. And of course, all of this is made possible firstly through the blessings of Mahakali Devi and uh, the blessings of this family, the Larika family, and uh, especially Shalini and all her friends and relatives. They have pulled their resources together to celebrate the blessings of Mahakali Devi. If you look around, you see so many beautiful images of Mahakali Devi, and each one brings the blessings in one way or the other. So, blessings to all of you coming to join in a unique experience. Kali Puja is a unique experience. Kali Katha is a blessing. Kali Bhajans and all of this, this brings the blessings of Bhagavan. So, to Pandits who are here, Pandavishesh, Pandavidesh, Pandaraj, and all of you, dear devotees, blessings to each one of you. To Radio and TV Jagriti, we are live, and I want to say blessings to Vivek and um, Pemal for being here, taking the broadcast live. To our sponsors, many thanks to all of you, and to you, our viewers and listeners, it's an experience that we're experiencing. And I want to say welcome to all our listeners and viewers, blessings to each one of you. And of course, we are on Sankhya YouTube live also. So many people can see us in one way or the other. Also, you can see us on our Facebook page, Panadeudat Vyas Facebook page. So there are a lot of avenues for you to be able to enjoy the blessings. So may Bhagwan bless each one of us in a very special way. Shubha Swagatam, most auspicious blessings to all of you. So after Arati and all the beautiful bhajans, now we must meditate. Hatha Jorkar in a position of prayer. Let's see the blessings of the World Mother, Mahakali Devi. Principal of Mahakali Mata Ki Jai. Shri Ganesha Namaha Shri Saraswati Namaha Shri Gurjadana Kamal Namo Namaha Om Namah Shandika Om Namah Shiva Gajananda Maharaja Bataya Kiritan ke gaya hai Aho, aho, vega aho Shabat ras ko aadhi hai Gajanam Maharaj Bhattai Shankaram Trayam Rakam Munmundam Aram Shivam Ashatosham Bhajayam Nelakanyam Shashidaram Shulidam Shainadhavalapam Janmarvaki Nayakam Balachandam Bhaji Gyaninama Pichetansi Devi Bhagavati Balada Krishna Mohaya Mahamaya Prayachadi Pavanatane Sankataharam Mangalamurati Rupa Ramalakar Sita Sahit Hidaya Basahu Suram 
Kali Devi, the Divine Goddess, the one who is all colors. She is not only black, she is not only white. She is all the colors put together. She is very symbol of time. She is the energy of all energies. And of course, how many beautiful forms there are of Sri Mahakali Devi. Om Namami Kalika Devim Kalikal Mashana Shinim Namami Shambhupat Nicha Namami Bhava Sundarim Adhya Devi Namaskrityam Namaste Loke Mohinim Namami Satya Sankalpam Sarva Parvata Vashini Om Krim Kapalinye Namaha Mahan Kalika Devya Namaha Om Bhadda Kali Devya Namaha Om Tara Devya Namaha Om Shri Bhagalamukhi Devya Namaha Om Shri Dhumavati Devya Namaha Principal Maha Shakti Devi Ki Jai Om Namami Kali Ka Devi Kali Kalmasha Nashni Namami Shambhu Patnicha Namami Bhava Sundari Namami Bhava Sundari She is the most beautiful of all Namami and we bow to that beautiful form Who is she? She is Kali and Kalok Kal Mahakali. She is the one who destroys death itself. So, Namami Bhava Sundarim. Sundarim means beautiful. Seva say hai Sundarim And of all the beauty in the world, the most beautiful one is whom? 
Mahashakti Devi. So there's a beautiful bhajan which describes the beauty of that world mother, whether you call her Durga, Lakshmi, Saraswati, Gauri, Mahakali, Anek Naam, Anek Roop, many names and many forms. Remember one thing, when there was nothing in this world, there was Shakti Mahakali. And when there will be nothing in this world, there will be Mahakali Mahashakti. So, Jinko Ari Nehi, Anti Nehi, Mati Nehi, she has no beginning, she has no end. And who is she? The very embodiment of time. Can we say when time began? No, we do not have that idea. In the beginning there was time, in the end there will be time, and time will continue to exist. And who is this time? She is Kaloki Kal Mahakali. She is Mahakali Devi. So let's all sing to the most beautiful of all, Mahakali Mata Ki Jai. Sabse hai sundari maha Sabse hai sundari maha Sabse hai sundari maha The very essence of beauty Hamare jai ambe maha She is ambe, ambe ke chakad ambe ओ सबसे है सुंदरी माँ ओ सबसे है सुंदरी माँ हमारे नए अपने माँ सबसे है सुंदरी माँ ओ सबसे है सुंदरी माँ हमारे नए अपने माँ नदियाँ हैं सुंदर समुद्र हैं सुंदर जर्जे का ऊपर का ऊपर हैं सुंदर सबसे हैं The beauty of whom the world mother, whether you call her Ma Kali, Ma Lakshmi, Ma Saraswati. So, this evening, blessings to each one of you. The experiences that, you know, devotees have experienced. When Ramakrishna was married, he was married to a beautiful Devi whose name was Sharada Devi. And so, married at a very tender age. Sharada Devi decided one day she wants to go and visit Ramakrishna. So she decided to go on this journey to go to Calcutta 
to have the blessings of Ramakrishna. It was a long distance to walk, and so she decided she is going on that journey to have the blessings of Ramakrishna. But on the way, a divine vision came to her in her hour of dejection and cheered her up. She was a bit dejected, but a divine vision appeared to her. She became ill. On the journey, she became ill. And as the mother lay on the bed, she saw a dark woman of peerless beauty sitting by her, caressing the mother's head and body with her soft and delicate hands. So it happened, Sharada, she got sick, and uh, as she lay on bed, she felt the soft and gentle hands caressing her body. That is an expression of the love of a mother for her child. And this is why yesterday we talked about uh, Mahakali Mamata. Mahakali Mamata, that is the love of the mother for the child. Mahakali Mamata, Mamata is love. There's a beautiful bhajan which says, Ma teri Mamata kitani piyari, kitani piyari jagati hai. How great is a mother's love. How beautiful is a mother's love. So, here the Divine Mother who is Mahakali, of peerless beauty, a beauty that cannot be described. And she appeared to Sharada, the wife of Ramakrishna, when she became ill and she was lying on a bed. So she expressed that love, a mother's love for a child. Listen together. Ma teri mamata, kitani piyari, how great is their love. Be it the heavenly mother, be it the earthly mother. So we join together in a mother's love. Ma kali mamata. Ma teri mamata, kitani piyari, kitna piyar jagati hai. Swas, swas ki raksha kar ki Pag, pag, pran bhajati hai Ma, tere mamata kitani yari Kitna pran jagati hai
Shri Mahashakti Devi Ki Jai The love of a mother for her child is shown in this beautiful episode where Sharada who was married to Ramakrishna but you know she was a child bride she was, she was a little child she was married but they never lived together until the time came and still they never lived physically together so she heard so much gossips about Ramakrishna he is a madman he will begin to sing he will begin to dance as if a person is out of his senses and so she said let me go and see for myself so Sharada decided it was a long journey over you know the dusty roads she had to cross the fields the open meadows and so Sharada the holy mother she was unaccustomed to walking all this long distance she fell ill on the journey she fell with fever and so she had to go to a rest house to recover and it is at this time in the day when she got that fever that the divine goddess Mahakali Devi decided to visit her child and who was the child? Sharada so caressing her body touching her gently and lovingly so Sharada Devi she looked at her and said where have you come from my dear? the stranger replied I have come from Dakshineshwar remember yesterday we talked about Dakshineshwar the Kali Murti that was consecrated in Dakshineshwar she said I have come from Dakshineshwar so Sharada said well to Dakshineshwar I was going to visit him Ramakrishna and so the mother said I kept him there for that purpose so you will come and you'll have the blessings of Ramakrishna and uh, so the Divine Goddess Mahakali Devi gave her the blessings she recuperated and she continued her journey to have the blessings of Shri Maha of Ramakrishna so you see Ramakrishna was one of the great devotees of Mahakali Devi from the, year nine, from the age 19 right on to when his body became wrinkled he continued to worship the Divine Goddess Mahakali Devi and that temple built by Rani Rasmani you see friends some of you may think this is a story Pandaji is telling you it is the life of Ramakrishna we are talking about and it's the, you know the glory of the Divine Goddess you know God has been good to everybody sitting here many good things happen to all of you you went so many different places and you returned safely you see so it is a blessing when we went to Dakshineshwar we saw the Kali Mandir we saw the, the home in which Ramakrishna the house in which Ramakrishna lived it is still there there are two beds a higher one and a lower one he will sleep on the higher bed and the lower one he will sit to give discourses there's everything still preserved of course it is you know renovated and all of this and there's the beautiful image the statue of Rani Rasmari all these things are there so this is what Hinduism tells us about the glory and the greatness of Maha Shakti Devi principle of Maha Kali Mata Ki Jai let's all join together as we chant again Bhavani Kab Aayenge Talak Dik Laayenge Bhavani Kab Aayenge Talak Dik Laayenge भवानी कब आएंगे ओ बता रे पुरवैया ओ बता रे पुरवैया भवानी कब आएंगे बता रे पुरवैया बता रे पुरवैया भवानी कब आएंगे बता रे पुरवैया भवानी कब आएंगे Bhavani Kabhaiye Kalak Dikhlaiye Oh Bhavani Kabhaiye Kalak Dikhlaiye Oh Bhavani Kabhaiye Kalak Dikhlaiye 
worship in the worship of the divine goddess you have the concept of the das mahavidya these ten beautiful forms and these forms are from kali right on to kamala so this is called the das mahavidya and when you go to all of these places in india especially the shakti peeth you will see these beautiful images in these mandirs so how did this ten forms come about when prajapati daksh decided he was going to do this mahayaki this great sacrifice he invited everybody to come to the sacrifice and so parvati devi saw all the gods and goddesses heading towards her parents home so she asked lord shiva what is happening there kaunsa utsav hai what festival is there so parvati she said don't you know your father is hosting this great sacrifice this yagya and all the gods and goddesses are going to attend so parvati said shiva can i go so lord shiva said no you should not go why oh shiva you were not invited this is why you should not go we were not invited neither you nor me but parvati devi insisted and she wanted to go but lord shiva kept denying her you cannot go so you know what will happen let's do this verse kali tara mahavidya shodashe bhavaneshwari bhairave janamasta cha vidya dhumavate tatha matange siddha vidya cha kateta bagala mukhi yete dasha maha vidya sarvatan preshtu gopita om en hrim klim chamudaya vichche krim kali kapali nyenama so parvati she was denied going thank you she was denied going to visit her father's yagya so she became so angry and in that state of anger you know what happened parvati devi manifested herself in 10 different forms in whichever direction shiva looked there was parvati in one form starting from kali and who were the 10 forms in the 10 directions east west north south and of course the others places they were kali tara mahavidya shudashi bhuvaneshwari bhairavi chinamastacha vidya dhumavati 
मातंगे सिद्ध विद्या च कथित बगलामुखी ये ते दस महाविद्य सर्वतंत्रेश्वर कोपी था सो दिस टेन फॉर्म्स सराउंडेड लॉर्ड शिवा एंड दिस टेन एंग्री फॉर्म्स विच अब डायरेक्शन लॉर्ड शिवा लुक देर इज वन ऑफ दिस ब्यूटीफुल फॉर्म्स सो दिस टेन फॉर्म्स दे रिवील देम्सेल्व्स टू भगवान शिवा एंड यू नो दे आर कॉल्ड द दस महाविद्य and in the das mahavidya the first one happens to be mahakali devi kali is the first of the ten forms so i will show you the pictures of these ten goddesses the first one happens to be mahakali in the ten forms the das mahavidya who are worshiped by all especially shakti worshipers the first one happens to be kali devi and then The second form happens to be Tara Devi. Tara Devi is the blue goddess. When you look at Tara, Kali is black, Tara is blue in color. Black is the symbol of time and blue is the symbol of infinitude, no beginning and no end. And then in the third form she assumed Chinamasta Devi, in which she took the sword and she severed her own head. That's a nice story, but a long story. And then the fourth form happens to be Shodashi Devi. And if you see Shodashi Devi is in the form of Lord Shiva, so that's the fourth form in the ten forms from Kali right on to Kamala. Hey, not Kamala from here, right? That's Kali, Kamala, who is Lakshmi form. And then you have the fifth form, who is Bhuvaneshwari Devi. This is the fifth form that Kali assumed. These are different forms of Kali Devi. So, if we think Kali had only one form, Kali has many forms. All forms are Kali, and Kali is in all forms. And then you have the fifth, the sixth one is Tripura Bhairavi. Tripura Bhairavi is another form of Mahakali Devi. And then, as we continue, you have the next form, who is Dhumavati Devi, like an old lady. She is in the form of Dhumavati Devi. And then we have the next one, who is Bagalamukhi Devi. In this form, she is Bagalamukhi Devi. And you know something? There are temples in India for all of them. Each one of them, they have their own temple. You know, in Trinidad here we have temples. So if we have a Shiva temple, we have Hanuman, we have Durga, we have Lakshmi, we have we have all the gods in that one temple. But you know, in India, one temple for the Devi and only the Devi. Bagalamukhi Devi, the temple is only her. But in front of the temple, there is the form who is of all the Devi temples. There are, you know, thousands of temples, and Bhairav Baba is the one who guards them all. And you know something? When the temples are locked, the keys are put right in front of the temple. See, in front of the temple, the keys are put, and everybody could see the keys. Good, but nobody there take that key and open the temple. Because Bhairo is the one who guards every Devi Mandir is guarded by Bhairo Baba. We have our Bhairo Murti right there, where the Diya is lit and puja is done. So then we have the ninth form, who is Matangi Devi. That is another form of Kar. You see how many forms? Nine of them. And then the tenth form is Kamala Devi, where the elephants are bathing her. So these are. The ten forms they are called the Das Mahavidya, the ten forms of Maha Kali Devi, and of course, if you look in the two beautiful spaces, you'll see the beautiful forms of Maha Kali Devi. So listen to Maha Kali Devi, who is none other than the Das Mahavidya, those ten beautiful forms. Sing with us. Kali Bhavani Maya. काली भवानी हो जय 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 महाकाली भवानी जय 
जय जय जय भद्रकाली भवानी काली भवानी मैया काली भवानी काली भवानी मैया काली भवानी जय 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 भद्रकाली भवानी जय 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 श्री महाकाली माता के जय शेष काली शेष काली का शेष भद्र काली शेष महाकाली हमेनी नेम्स सहस्त्र नाम मेनी आर ए नेम्स ऑफ दैट डिवाइन गॉडेस सो वेन पार्वती देवी हुई पार्वती देवी पार्वती जस्य शे इज द डॉट ऑफ द माउंटेन किंग शे इज होम Who is Gauri? Gauri is, you know, when we do puja, Sarva Mangala Mangalya, Shiva Sarvata Shadike, Sharanyatya Amike, Gauri Narayani Namusati. Gauri is none other than Kali who did penance to purify, to get rid of the black. And of course, she became fear. Gauri is the fear goddess. Kali is the dark goddess. You see? So, she became and the black form that kali gave her became kalika that black form became kalika in different forms which changes kali devi she became kalika devi and the black form is kalika devi so bhagwan shiva when he saw all of this beautiful forms you know what happened he tried to go this way he could not whichever way he tried the ten forms were blocking the ten directions shiva himself could not stand up against them the mighty and the powerful shiva could not stand up to these goddesses you know there's a form of law shiva in which the right half is male and the left half is female right so that is aradhana rishwar where the right half is male left half is female so who is he he is bhagwan shiva let's do beautiful chant to lord shiva so he is called ardhanareshwar the one who is the embodiment of shiva and parvati so bhagwan shiva could not stand up against these 10 forms who are the das mahavidya sing with us everybody bola bola shiva bola mera bola shiva bola o bola bola shiva bola mera bola Bam 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 b
शिवधाते स्वाहा सुदा नमोस्ते महाशक्ति महाकाली माता की जय सो लॉर्ड शिव कर नॉट स्टैंड अप अगेंस्ट दिस टेन फॉर्म्स व्हाट इज टेन फॉर्म्स द आविद्या द टेन फॉर्म्स सो दिस मैनिफेस्टेशंस ऑफ काली दिस कॉल्ड द महाविद्यास एंड व्हो आर दिस टेन फॉर्म्स एज आई जस्ट टोल्ड यू काला काली तारा छिन्मस्ता धुमावती बगलामुखी कमला त्रिपुर भैरवी भुवनेश्वरी त्रिपुर सुंदरी मातंगी काली इज द फर्स्ट इन ऑल ऑफ दिस टेन मैनिफेस्टेशन एंड द काली का पुराण डिस्क्राइब्स ए लिजन दैट वंस द गॉड असेंबल्ड इन द हिमालय and they started to pay obeisance to mahamaya who is the divine goddess and that's what there was an ashram of matang muni you see matang muni and there's a form of the goddess is called matangi matang matangi muni please with the praise of the gods bhagavati devi appeared you see so not only we pray to the gods but one shiva and all the devotees all the gods and goddesses they pray for the blessings of the divine goddess and she was pleased with them and what happened bhagavati devi appeared before them and they all started to chant mantras to her the goddess who appeared was a dark goddess she looked like a mountain of blackness as it is said here the great figure the great power who is mahashakti devi when they ask who are they praying to she said they are praying to me she was black like lamb and that is why she is named kali durga saptashati describes the origin of kali 
And so all the holy ones, they prayed to that divine goddess who is Maha Kali Devi. And praying to her, you know, Stuta Sampujita Pushpa Dhupa Gandhadi Vistata. What place is the Devi? You want to place Hanuman, offer him the root and the banana. You want to place Lord Shiva, offer him the Bhattasa Ganesh Dilla do the Dub grass. What place is the Devi? The flowers you offer to her. Right? The dhup, the fragrance from the agarbati, the chanting of her mantras and stotras. All of this is what places the Devi. And when the Devi is placed, she gives her blessings in one way or the other. So let's all join together. Stuta Sampojita Pushpara. Stuta means praises, singing the praises, listening to the praises of the Devi. Do we join together, everybody? <laughs> Jaya Bhagavati Devi Namo Varadi Jaya Papa Vinashiri Pahu Varadi Jaya Bhagavati Devi Namo Varadi Jaya Papa Vinashiri Pahu Varadi Shumbhani Shumbhaka Padavadi Jana Mahami Kudhi Inadatri Hari beautiful prayer in which we bow to the divine goddess to receive her blessings namami kali kai devi you see when we recite this prayer namami namami means i bow to that divine goddess so when you come to the mandir and you see that beautiful image of the devi all you need to do is pranamami namaste say namaste say namaste say namo namo you bow and you receive the blessings of the divine, the God and the goddesses. Namami Kalika Devi. 
So where is she? She is Kali Ka Devi. You see, when Gauri, when Kali did penance, she gave up this body. Good. And when she gave up this body, she became Gauri, the fear goddess. So what happened with the black form? The black form assumed another form who is called Kalika Devi. You see? So penance is what transformed her from one form to another form. And Kalika Devi, you know, there's a nice katha in the Devi Bhagavatam which tells us about Kalika Devi. You see? There was once a king whose name was Jai Singha. And Jai Singha being the king, he built a beautiful temple for the Devi. You see, all of these beautiful temples, you see, in India especially, these were built by the kings, the rajas, the wealthy people. And they built all of this so that Hinduism will continue to flourish. So, Raja Jai Singh, he built this beautiful temple and um, he placed the murti in the temple. You ever go to a temple and see no murti? Yes, there's one temple in India that is called the Lotus Temple. It is shaped just like a lotus. And when you go into that temple, you have no murtis there. So what it have? It have seats only. So devotees go and they sit down. No murti. They sit there and you know what they do? They meditate. You know, they allow their thoughts to fly like a bird to reach the Lord. But you know something? To go to that temple, you have to leave your footway long distance. And you have to walk barefooted to go there. And the sun is blazing up like now, Balis. And you have to walk, and you have people with buckets throwing water just to cool down the heat. And you have to walk on that blazing hot concrete. And you go inside there, no more days. You sit and you just watch and you meditate. You do whatever you want. Nobody speaks there. You see how everybody is silent here? So it is. So that is, you know, the lotus temple where there are no murtis. Otherwise, all our temples, we have beautiful images that help us to concentrate. So Jai Singh, he built this beautiful temple and he installed the murti of Kalika Devi. Now where Kalika Devi came from? Right? Kali did penance and she became Gauri. So the black form now assumed the form of Kalika Devi. So Kalika Devi is Kali Devi herself. Gauri is Kali Devi herself. Right? To get up, eh? so many different forms, but one. Okay. How many seeds in an apple? Okay. From one seed, how many trees you get? And from that one tree, how many apples you get or fruits you get, you see? So from the one Lord, look how many different forms they come, like all the fruits in a tree. So it was a beautiful temple, and that's what happened, it was now Rathita. Nine days of worship for the Devi. And you know, in Devi Mandir, when Naurathi comes, you must have your celebrations. So the ladies were all singing, they were all clapping, they were all dancing because it is Naurathi, it's a happy occasion and they're singing to whom? To Sri Kalika Devi. Just imagine this beautiful evening when song, music and dance, all of this, let's sing to the Devi as we join all the ladies singing to Maha Kalika Devi. Kali Bhavani Maya, Kali Bhavani, Kali Bhavani Maya, Kali Bhavani, Usuno Modi Devi, Kali Bhavani, Usuno Modi Devi, Usuno Modi Devi, Kali Bhavani, Usuno Modi Devi, Usuno Modi Devi, Kali Bhavani, Usuno Modi. Jai Kaveri Tapa Dinamai, 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 Jai Kaveri T
of devotion it was so beautiful you know singing and dancing and chanting so just then a visitor came into the temple so beautiful think of a thousand suns shining at the same time think of a thousand lotuses blossoming at the same time such was her beauty and radiance very difficult to describe the beauty of this visitor who came. Who is she? She sat down and she started to sing and to chant with the others. The king, Jai Singh, he was there. He was enjoying the evening of devotion to the deity. And everybody enjoying that evening. The time had come for some after when everybody must return to their homes. At the end, you know, when everybody started to return to their homes, the king, he looked at this beautiful visitor. He did not know who she was. So he held her hand with so much love and devotion. She looked at him and said, I am happy, Maharaj. You built me a temple. You consecrated my murti. I am very happy. Who was this? She was the Divine Goddess. Mahakali Devi who had come in this beautiful form of a loving person. And she said, I am happy. Ask for whatever you want. So who is speaking? The Divine Goddess, Mahashakti Devi. Ask for whatever you want. You know, if we were given the chance to ask one day for what we want, what will we ask for? Wealth? You're quite right. Wealth is not a luxury, it's a necessity. Poverty is the greatest misery. So if you get the chance to ask for wealth, material wealth, ask for it. Nothing is wrong with that. Yogananda says it is not wrong to tell the Lord what you want. It's not wrong. But there are other things also that we need. So when you ask, ask for the things that you will not leave behind. You know, the day will come when we will leave everything here and we'll have to go back. As for the things that you will not leave here, you see, the grace, the blessings of the divine, that is so important together with all the material things. So ask for what you want. You know what did the king, who had so much blessings, you know what he said? He said, oh beautiful one, I want to marry you. He does know who this lady is. He wants to marry her. And so, the moment this Devi who is Kalika Devi, the moment she heard this request, you know what happened? She got angry. Because that is disrespect to her. And whenever you disrespect it, the gods and the goddesses, then what happens? Then no good will come. When you disrespect the home, of God. 
You know what a temple is? The temple is the house of God, you know. It's a place of worship where God dwells. You will find God everywhere. Don't that affect and kill and die. Everywhere you'll find God. But you see, in the temple, that is where it has been consecrated. The image is placed there. And the presence of God is there. So at no time, no matter who we are, we must ever desecrate the temple or the home or the house of God. No matter who we are, we could be the richest of the rich or the poorest of the poor. Never ever. You know what the penalty is going to be? God to punish nobody, you know. Just remember this. God doesn't punish anybody. Karmani vadikarasti ma phaleshu kadachana ma karma phalehetrabho maate sangosta karmani it is we who punish ourselves. And you know, when things happen, you say, I wonder what I do wrong. You wonder, how come this happened to me? Somewhere or the other, we did something that was not right. And we have to, you know, pay the penalty for what we have done. So here it is. You're, you're ironing your shirt. The heater is hot. But your hand happened accidentally, managed to touch the heater. You know what the heater will say? The heater will say, well, this is accidental, right? So I ain't gonna burn you, whether accidental or not. Whether you do it willfully or not, you're going to have to pay the price for this. So one of the things we must always remember, respect every person's house of worship. You see, the temple has been specially consecrated it's not just four walls, it is specially consecrated. So, the blessings for each one of us. So, this evening, we are very pri privileged to be in this place. You know, there are two words. One is air conditioning, and next one is prayer conditioning. I guess everybody has air conditioning in their homes, but it's kind of weather, right? So, what this family is doing is preconditioning their compounds, preconditioning this home, this Monday, this home. And when your home is preconditioned, then you can feel the presence. And here now, we can't see God in them, but we could feel the presence of the Lord when it is preconditioned. So, Kalika Devi, you disrespected me, and she pronounces Salap upon him. Look at the penalty, you disrespected the temple, you disrespected my image. She said to him, you and your entire lineage will be destroyed. You'll be destroyed for that disrespect that you have shown. You have become very proud. You built this temple for me. You consecrated my image. <coughs> so what happened? The moment she pronounced this, Sarap upon him. Anta Dhyan Hoga, she disappeared. And at that same point with her disappearance, that image started to sink in the earth. The temple started to shake. Just imagine, you wouldn't like to be there. The temple is sinking in the ground, the image is sinking, the temple is shaking. Just then when the Pujari saw this, the Pujari ran into the temple. And when he saw what was happening, he held on to that multi and he started to pray to the Devi for forgiveness. For what did this person, being the king, disrespecting him? And there's a beautiful stotra which is Mahishasra Martini stotra. A beautiful prayer that is recited on this very special occasion. And so, started to pray. This Murti is singing in the ground. The temple is shaking. The voice fell with emotion. What will happen? Let's join us. We come close to the end of our Katha this evening. Mahishasu Martini, a beautiful prayer. <laughs> Vishwa Vinasini Jayuti. I 
Shakti Devi Ki Jai Prayer comes from deep down within the heart. A person goes into a beautiful flower garden and selects each one of the most beautiful flowers. He brings them and offers them to the Devi Ma Shakti. So it is in the garden of life, we select the most beautiful of words, like flowers, and we offer it. This is a beautiful prayer that is offered to the Divine Goddess. Prayer is the salt of life. Prayer is what touches the heart and the soul of the Divine. So this is our prayer for each one of us. Namantam nayantam tadapi chana jani stuti maha. We do not know friends. Every evening we say a special prayer. Mantra hinam kriya hinam Lord. Devi ma, I do not know. May kuch nahi janta hu. I know nothing whatsoever. You are the light of knowledge. You become Saraswati Devi to enlighten me. Whatever my faults, whatever my sins, forgive me, Chamakaro Meri Bhul, Natha Mehu Charano Ke Dhul. To your lotus feet we have come. So, Pujari. See how important it is for the Pujari to stabilize this murti that is sinking in the ground and to stop the shaking of the mandir. Today, right now as I speak, that temple is still there. The murti is still there, half sunk in the ground. And so, 
today devotees come together and they worship the divine goddess so kalika devi she pronounces love upon him whenever we choose to dis desecrate and to disrespect the holy name the places of worship any religion you know what will happen friends the wrath of god shall surely fall upon us and we are not wishing for this we want only good things to happen and what shalini and the larika family they are doing is one of the best acts actions that can be performed and show their blessings look how many people on radio and tv jagruti they are receiving the blessings of what this family is doing you see so shalini the blessing is yours and you are sharing it with each one of us we pray that bhagwan will bless you as you brought my into your homes you know how many homes you have many homes but you see this home this body this mind this is the home in which you have brought the divine goddess you have placed set to sit on the throne of your mind and you know what is the ultimate result your heart is going to overflow with the blessings so when people prosper and when good things happen you see these hands these hands work for it these hands you know bring down the blessings of the lord you see these ears listening this brings the blessings so how much more can i tell you so who is kalika devi kalika devi is kali kali did penance to become gauri remember i told you yesterday when lord shiva called kali in the presence of all his fair goddesses he called parvati kali never mind all colors are important right so when she was called kali she said if you did not like my color then why did you marry me but it is parvati who is kali you see so kali so whenever you see lord shiva and parvati remember parvati is home she is kali kali is home parvati kali did penance she became gauri the fair one and you see whenever we have a marriage ceremony on the friday well most times it's on a friday right what puja do we do gauri puja we do gauri puja on that baby today we did gauri puja to shalini we did gauri puja sarva mangala mangaliya shiva sarvata shadike shavanya tamke gauri narayani namostute and when you get the blessings of gauri devi all success will come friends it is all about believing in your dharma believing in the faith in which we have been placed by the lord and so gauri devi is the fair goddess golden in color when sita had to win the hand of shri ram whose puja did she worship whose puja did she do sita devi sunainam her mother said devi sita go in the temple and worship gauri devi and sita devi went into the temple and worship gauri devi look at the beautiful eh uh, here before they go home stand up in front of this temple and look at gauri devi look at kali devi look at the beautiful goddess and the mala fell from the image here na the string didn't burst you know. let me put it in my language the string did not burst it just fell out of the neck of the murti and that mala murti spoke You think that Mahabharata Murti can speak? Yes, it can speak. If you don't believe, too bad for you. Not you who don't believe. And you know what the Gauri said? Hear ye my infallible blessing, Sita. What you pray for shall come to pass. And that mala in the hand of Sita. You know what that mala is? That's the prasad. You know what prasad is? Not what you get at the bag alone and you eat. You see that flowers. That's the prasad of the Devi. You see the clothes of the Devi. You see in Dakshineshwar, the devotees wait to get the sari they change from the Devi. That's the prasad. They want to get that. They want to get the flowers. And when you go to these places, you know what the pujari does? Sometimes he take the scarf that is offered and give it to you. Don't throw it away and don't leave it. That's the blessing. Bring it home. 
I remember getting it, so I put it in my pocket and I brought it back home. That's the, my blessing, don't throw it away. So Shalini, you see all those flowers you offer to the Devi? That's the prasad. And if anybody wants to take one of that to take home, that's the blessing. You see? So always remember, the prasad is the great blessings. Be it the flower, be it a fruit, be it, you know, just in the clothing of the Devi. When you get these things, count your blessings. So, Kali Mata has given us the blessings. This time we spent here is the blessing of Kali Mata. And what will happen from here will take us into Tomorrow Katha. Prince Molo Maha Shakti Maha Kali Mata Ki Jai. Let's all please stand as we conclude. Mata Meri Katu. Shakti ki adha Paap naash di ke karan me Mahakali avata O suno mori de de Paravat vasri Tera paran paap O suno mori de de Suno mori de de Paravat vasri Tera paran paap I'm not
As we surround ourselves to the lotus feet of Ma Shakti Devi, pray for yourselves and each other. Abad Sumagna Smaranam Tvadeya Karo Midurahi Karunan Vishri Naita Chatatvam Mama Bhavayeta Chuta Trishnata So, tomorrow is the closing night. I always say one night does go faster, but two nights does go faster. But this is the blessing. So I want to invite all of you come tomorrow evening for your blessings. Tomorrow's Ashabad, the special blessings you will get tomorrow evening, same time, same place, and of course, over to Shalini. She has some announcements to make. Namaste. Namaste. On behalf of the Makali Mamta of Trinidad and Tobago, we would like to say thank you. Thank you for joining us. We would like to welcome everyone to come tomorrow. Sima, 
Tomorrow will be the last day for the entire year, the Mandar will be open. Right? If you all personally want to come and see Ma, you all can call, call the temple, and we will make arrangements. Tonight we have Nisha B, we have, we have Nicole, and they have offered their service to come to surrender their love to the Divine Mother because they believe in Mahakali. Thank you. Thank you to Pandadev Dadviyasji and everyone of Marshall Trace Kanupia, everyone that heard us and heard about Mahakali Mamta. To all our radio stations, all our media, media concepts, we would like to say thank you. Thank you to Pandaji. Namaste. See you tomorrow. Jai Mahakali. So, Sangya Television yeah, is not only the first Hindu TV station in Trinidad and Tobago, but Sangya TV also has the most coverage. You can find Sangya Television on YouTube by searching for Sangya Television. On the Sankhya Television's YouTube channel, you can find all previously recorded Yagnas and all Sankhya TV exclusive programming. Don't forget to click subscribe so you can be notified of all new uploads. Sankhya Television aims at providing you with your number one choice for cultural, inspirational and spiritual programming.